look away from the train wreck. You can blame it on the tag or the disrespect. If we play better, button check. Button check. What is up, Butt Check family? Welcome back to yet again a beautiful week, a whole week of checking these buttons, chapters down below, sub button down below. Thank you guys for taking the time to help the channel grow. We got some hot ones, special, annou special announcements just happened last night, and we got many other hot topics, so we's about to check them all. Let's go. All right, next up for the Rainbow Six Street Fighter Six skins, what the hell is really going on? Buttons that need to be checked. Okay, so I'm gonna present this the way that it was revealed to me. Gustavo, right, 801, posted this saying, bro, Rainbow Six is getting new Street Fighter 6 skins before Street Fighter 6. Then we're like, okay, what, what the hell's going on? And you can see he quote retweeted the Rainbow Six seed. Tweet that was just yesterday saying, get ready to boot up and hit the streets with two bundles featuring characters from Street Fighter 6. Ying is Chun-Li and Grim is Ryu. Then of course they have this trailer. Check it out. Yeah, hey there I do, never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, y'all be improved. Okay, there's a couple of things. First, the comments are saying it looks like dog shit. <laughs> That was, it looked like they took a body and just kind of put a damn head from another game. Like it doesn't look like it matched to me and I'm not trying to be a hater, but a lot of the comments are saying the same thing. They're like, uh, it's either getting ridiculous or who did this because it, it, it looks pretty bad. Now I'm not gonna say everybody was saying that, but that's a lot of the comments. I was just like, I, I don't really follow, you know, Rainbow Six like that, but it doesn't look right to me. And the other elephant in the room, of course, that 801 was talking about is, What's up with the skins? A lot of people talk about, you know, what we talk about, Perfect Perry, Drive Rush, among other things, but you've always been hearing about the skins. What's up with the skins? When we gonna get some new ones? That's what he was talking about. How the hell is these guys gonna get some Street Fighter Six skins before we get anything else in the actual damn game? So for all the Rainbow Six fans, let me know how y'all feeling. Is, does this look right to y'all? Is it fitting? Or are these crossovers just getting ridiculous now? You know what I'm saying? Does it seem kind of random? And what about these graphics? Are, are you look at the, the Ryu and Chun on the body. Does it look natural? It looks in that. It almost looks like their, their parents were cousins or some shit. Anyway, that's just how I'm feeling. But how y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, next up for that first FGC comic book buttons that need to be checked. If I'm getting that right. I think I'm getting that right. right. Okay, listen. True underdog. Y'all know underdog, right? Profile on the screen, man needs no introduction. Been a content creator for about 10 years. NRS community still doing the damn thing. Okay, so we just released a video, I wanna say uh, yesterday, maybe two days ago, but very recently talking about he made his own comic book, right? He's like, I've been a fan of comics for a while. Of course, a fan of the FGC. So he's like, why not put these two things together? So he was like, yo, we created one of the first, if not the first FGC comic books Check out the clip. Of course, his full uh, link is down below. Check out the video because it's definitely longer than this, but peep it. Recently, I decided to take my two passions and combine them together to create Top Tier, the first ever independent fighting game comic created entirely for fighting game players and the fighting game community. In total, the comic is about 40 pages long, the main story itself is a bit over 30 pages, and then afterwards there's concept art for the characters, setting, and all that awesome stuff. Honestly, it's more like a mini graphic novel when you think about it because 40 pages is a lot for a comic book. But I think you guys deserve it. You've been watching my channel and supporting me for 10 years straight, so I wanted to give you the most I could with this first comic, which is why I'm also including the trading cards for free. No matter which package you choose to buy on the Indiegogo, you get six trading cards for free. However, that's just the start. If we reach the $5,000 milestone, I'll add four new cards for free, no extra charge. Not, I've got a confession, this is not the first comic book I've made. I actually have three other comics that are completely done, but I was too nervous to ever go public with them. And that's for a couple of reasons. Number one, I've never been very good at selling things. I guess it just doesn't come very natural to me. But then on top of that, the story setting just didn't match with my channel that well. And that's when I decided, why not just make a fighting game comic book? I make fighting game videos, so make a fighting game themed comic. And that's how Top Tier was born. If you're gonna build a channel on fighting games and spend 10 years covering fighting games and making fighting game guides, then why not just make a comic that's based around what you know? The so I really hope this campaign does well. Please reach
reach out to everyone you know who loves comics or fighting games, and let's make Top Tier the first of many great comic books inspired by the fighting games that we know and love. So there you go. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually impressed. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't follow all of True Underdog stuff, but how could you not follow at least some of it? Because he's always there, he's trending, he posts a lot. His content, I mean, you see it everywhere. And I did get to interview him once and he was friendly as shit. I need to have him here. Me and him need to like actually talk face to face because I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, the dude probably lives only like 30 or 40 minutes away from me. There's no excuse. Anyway, with that being said, how y'all feeling, man? I was impressed with the artwork that he actually was able to pull something like this off. I mean, it looks professional as hell. And if y'all are interested, once again, link all the information down below. You can purchase one and get on board. How y'all feeling? Let me know. All right, next up for them, Tekken 8, the moment, right? We've all been waiting for the Tekken 8, the last character reveal. On top of that, that Evo showcase, that Tekken 8 Evo showcase. We were just talking about that yesterday. If you want to see that video, we dropped a hot one on yesterday. Link, you know, all that good stuff on the channel. But for now, they, you know, so Evo did this cool ass thing with the Tekken showcase. They brought back the Evo champions for Tekken 7 and they made them go head to head in Tekken 8. There's, I mean, once again, that broadcast down below that link, I'll put it down, check it out, cause it's like, man, two or three hours long. So I'm gonna cut to the chase, spoiler alert. I know y'all hate when I do spoiler alerts, I read the comments, especially if I put it in the fucking thumbnail. But to be honest, as a content creator, hey, if it's news, baby, we gotta post. Hey, we gotta, we, we push it. Tekken 8, we're gonna break down the format that you guys are gonna be experiencing today. It's a little different, it's a ladder format, so let's take a look at exactly how that's gonna go down. As you can see, the match order is determined by the first EVO Championship. So whoever won the earliest, that's who's gonna be our first marquee matches. Of course, each player selects three characters per match. A little different per the usual, but this is a ladder showcase and not just a regular tournament. Of course, when a player loses, they must switch characters, all right? That's why they get three of them. They can't go back to that character. It resets at the next one. And of course, when a player defeats all three of their opponents, their opponent's characters, they win. And that's really what you need to succeed and be a winner here. And now you can see the ladder. You can see that first match already set up. It's gonna be Novi going up against Saint. And of course, that means whoever wins that will stay on and potentially be a champion. But that's why you see those blacked out up there because we might have somebody new each time. We gonna skip to the end, spoiler alert. In the end, all the pros went together. I should say the champions, but once again, is we surprised? Arslan Ash was in grand finals. So I guess you can call this grand finals. It was an exhibition. Anyway, he was there. Check it out. Uh, the future of Tekken is some in some very capable hands. I have to say. You know, I remember at Evo Japan. I really should have posted this picture. The top eight of Evo Japan is really kind of like, it really looks like the next generation of like players. Also, but Jimmy was there too. So Jimmy J. Tran was there as well. Well, Arsene was there. Book was there. We saw all these players that were really prominent in the scene and who continue to be. But there's the character choices. The Nina going up for Arsene. If we get there, that's one thing. Yeah. But the Jin, uh-huh, the June and the Claudio on the side of Book. They cracked it with this Azu Senna and... Ooh. No one's been able to stop it yet. Four, four counter hit. First one in. Nice and pick up. It. Yep. Beautiful. Ooh. One, two. Ooh, oh, great two. conversion. Ooh. And we break the balcony. Beautiful oh. awareness, but I uh, tried a little bit too hard. Dash underneath him with the empowered liberator. Oh, counter, counter hit, hit throw. throw. Or maybe the parry. Oh, I'm a chance for book to hold on here, but Arslan Ash with the running three two takes it and arslan ash is going to be your evo tekken 8 showcase winner today yeah Austin Senna, bro like i'm literally just finding out so much stuff from just watching him yep. play and it is it is already looking like a problem like we said i have to hit the lab and understand how this character is going i think everybody has everybody to see that yeah. <laughs> like percent oh goodness like i remember the Austin Senna came out everyone started abusing it i was like this character is a problem. So Arslan is the king. And you know, hey, in the last video, I said this is going to be interesting because he was very vocal when he started messing with Tekken 8, right? He was like, it, it seems like it's overcomplicated. He wanted things to be more simplified. Like he was like, there's two, this and that, and I got to look there. It's like, I, you know, I just want it to be, to, I want it to make more sense. So I didn't know how he was going to play tonight or, you know, with this event. Then they interviewed him. Check it out. I think uh, every character is very strong. I think right now, um, Nina is, I think is the perfect character. Like she's the strongest ever, you know, in, uh, if you compare her in the previous fighting games, I think June is also really, really strong. I still, I just don't like heat a lot, uh, but 
expect that part. I think Nina, June, Azucena, I think these are the one of the, st for me, it's very fun characters. Understood. I got to ask you, how are you planning to train for Tekken 8 when it eventually comes out? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people, especially like people who hate, they are saying like Aslan is a champion. Uh, Aslan is amazing in Tekken 8 and he's he not going to perform well. I'm just going to say that don't worry about me, I'm going to win again in Tekken 8, uh, like Tekken 7. That don't worry about me, I'm going to win again in Tekken 8, uh, like Tekken 7. Nice. Okay, so my last question to you, I've been asking everybody here. What is your message to the Tekken community? Is there anything that you want to address, maybe to people back at home or just people watching online? Nothing. I think, guys, you shouldn't, you know, play seriously too much. You should have fun sometime. I have seen a lot of pro players, you know, taking too much pressure on their selves to prove I don't know what. But I think sometimes, you know, you have to chill, relax and play for fun. Yeah, I want to say this and um, I'm sorry for taking it. Let's see how it goes. And now to that second moment that we've been waiting for, the character reveal. Man, the chat was going crazy. They were like, holy shit. Like the breaks were like seven, eight minutes long. They were like, could we just see the character? Like a lot of us think we know who it is already, but they were like, shit. But they did talk about some good stuff because Harada was on there. They talked about the, uh, the TWT uh, last chance qualifier uh, and some of the rules. I think it's the rules that are changing or some of the online features I believe they're, they're about to change on uh, Tekken 8. So if you're not one of those lucky 19 and you want to register for the LCQ, uh, we're going to be opening up the registration over three phases. This is to accommodate different time zones, etc. So the tickets themselves will be going on sale at $40, I believe. And that also includes spectator passes for the global finals. And then also uh, for the global finals themselves, you can also register for that. Uh, that opens up December 4th and those are $25 each. So basically, uh, we made a few changes, not from the CBT, but from uh, Tekken 7 rank match, in which uh, it's gonna be best of three, uh, and it's no longer infinite continues, right? And this is just to try to ensure that the, the rank is an appropriate estimation of your actual skills as a player. And then also, uh, we made it so that in certain lower ranks, you know, it would, uh, you could get demoted in the past, but this time, uh, you don't get demoted at all until you reach a certain rank. Okay, good stuff all around, and now the moment we've been waiting for, the character reveal, the last slot, right, for Tekken 8. Here we go. Enjoy the clip. Trailer link down below. At this time that I'm filming, I actually don't know. And because the stream, I'm recording this at the same time, so it's going on over there. So I'm going to just let y'all enjoy it, and I'll come back in a second. Enjoy. One eternity later. Uh. They're still not, they're still, they're still not doing it. Like the whole damn game is gonna release before they get around to announcing this character. So, uh, <laughs> Harada's reading the chat, which we all know we're not supposed to do. <laughs> and, uh, they're asking if they can go to the bathroom, get a break to eat or whatever. Uh, sure, go ahead. <laughs> He said, Harada's reading the chat, which we're never supposed to do, and they're asking, can we take a break? Can we go to the restroom? Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna insert, when it does drop, I'm gonna insert it right here, and then I'm gonna put some reactions, uh, maybe the chat and whatnot from the FGC, and y'all let me know how y'all feeling, all right? Here you go, enjoy. Get ready for the next battle. ナイナ。
一体何者だ<笑>すぐに理解することになる。Okay, there was some editing magic there. How y'all feeling about that new character? Woo! It wasn't, wasn't they spectacular? Wasn't she? He, he wasn't they um, with the robot what the, with the lightning and woo! Teleportation and the boom, boom, boom with the this right here? This right here? There it is, ladies and gents. Definitely let me know. Hey, please let me know how y'all feeling. Just some weird timing today. <sighs> Thank you guys for the amazing love, Patreon, all that good stuff. Um, if we don't post tomorrow, we'll definitely post the next day. Oh, wait, I don't know what it is. I, honestly, right now, because I still haven't seen this trailer, I don't know what it is, but I know it's about to get better. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. You can. Amazing, right? And I say that because I still haven't seen it. I'm doing edit, edit magic. I'm going to insert it before I have, before I actually saw it, because I, I, I'm running out of time on my side. I got other stuff to do. So, wow. Amazing reveal, spectacular. Whoa, hey, that was a spectacular character. I can't believe they put them in the game. Whoa, can you believe they put that person, the girl, the man, boy, child? Put them, put all of them in the game. That was crazy. I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it, y'all. Um, whoo.